What's up guys, out here, welcome to another video on the channel, and today, bringing you another video on Cut25, and I am bringing you five, five tips on how to make coins right now. The five best tips, I'm telling you, these tips are top tier. These are the five best tips to make coins right now. You want to be a, a Cut25 millionaire? Do these tips, alright? I'm going to go through my uh, least favorite five, count all the way down to one, um, the best way to make coins right now in Cut25. Uh, let me know uh, how you're enjoying Cut25 so far. I have been loving it. Um, I love the gameplay. I like what they're doing so far um, with the promos and stuff. I wish we do start getting a little bit more college uh, name guys instead of pros, but that's just how the promos are set up right now. They're more geared towards the pros right now. Um, I feel like once we get closer to the actual uh, college season, we will get more of those college name guys, but that's a different story for a different uh, video. But yeah, top five tips and ways to make coins right now in Cut25. Let's get right into it. Okay, with tip number five, um, it's do your dailies and do your XP for the season rewards path, right? The only way to upgrade your seasons um, season pass um, is to do these challenges. So you have your dailies, do these every single day. It's the same challenges every day. Play a game, you can just play a solo, uh, gain 250 yards. You can just do that in a solo, right? If you only even if you only have five minutes a day um, to get on, you could do this solo. I know people have busy lives, people have work and all that stuff, but get on um, right before you go to bed. You know, if you have a like, like I said, five minutes, go on, do a little solo, do some yards, play your game, acquire a pack. You can do the daily pack in the shop for 100 coins you got everyone has 100 coins you can do that and get this done every day that's a guaranteed 900 xp a day um you also have your season objective season one objectives i'm i have everything done about this one i need one more win for another 2500 um all these objectives here this is the only way you can actually upgrade your season pass and get rewards and as you can see um you Get it actually well, you can't see because I've already completed it. But towards the beginning, um, it takes less and less to actually upgrade. But look at all these coins you got a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. Um, these are uh, eight overall B and D players that you get for your uh team. These strat pack uh, items, uh, quick sell for at least 9k, so you're guaranteed 9k every time you see those. Uniform packs are really nice because some of the uniforms are going for 10, 15, 20k. Um, I know I try to buy the TCU pack, uh, um, uniforms. Earlier today, and literally the home uniforms are 22k on the market. So if you pull them, there you go. Um, you do get these, uh, what well, these really cool B and D fancy packs. You get about four or five of them throughout the challenges, and they are sweet, right? Um, that's why I get a lot of my uh, 82 to 84 B and Ds in my team are literally from this pack, and you get to pick two of them. So um, not only that, since they are B and D. Um, you can add them to your team, and anybody that you have on your team that's sellable, you can just sell them on the market and get make, make your coins that way. But yeah, the only way uh, to get to these players and um, like this 83 overall fantasy player is sellable. You can sell those. Um, there's also an 84 that I believe I've gotten to as well. 84 fantasy pack. All of them are going to be 84. Sellable. 84s range from about 50k at the lowest up to the 200s and 300k depending on what you pull. So again, do these. Um, I am at level 41 and I'll be just under level 42 uh, once I do that last little one there. Uh, my And now I got one glitch uh, earlier in the er, one uh, solo battles game that was glitched. Um, so my other account slash my buddy that didn't get the glitch, um, I believe he is 37 or 38 you can get up to. It's only a couple levels behind. Um, so you do all this XP, you get all of those awards up to about, I would say, 36, 37, 38-ish in this area if you do all those. So that's one way, or that's tip number five on how to make coins. All right, tip number four is actually flipping cards on the market. Now, um, if you're new to Ultimate Team or just new in general to any type of game that has like a market you can uh flip cards on the market so right now i have 82 to 83 overall um and to flip cards you really don't need too big of a budget to start off now the bigger the budget um the bigger the cards you can go for and the more profit you can make right but let's just filter down let's do this 82 to 83 uh let's go wide receiver um and let's look at this that's not a good example 
let's go to Colorado. Colorado's a pretty liked team. Um, let's see if they have anything going here. So right here. Um, and let's see what he's going for on the market on average. He averages about 22K. So he's a little bit higher um, than what he average goes for but right now he's up for 24k but the next highest is 35 so i could theoretically buy him from 24k throw him up for let's say 33k take that 10 percent off once he sells and i'll get 30k back making a 6k profit now again if you go over to catalog this price here tells you the average it sells for 22,700. so again this one is these are listed up higher than what he averagely goes for so i probably wouldn't do this it is a risk you could uh flip it again Colorado is a, a a team that people enjoy so people might be just see the 30k and or 33k and still buy it um but that could be a 6k profit right there um let's see um Ohio State do they have one here no let's go to rare Ohio State wide receivers just just for another example and see if anybody's up um they won't sell no um, okay. So yeah, I mean, that's essentially what you're doing. You're buying low, selling high. So let's go tight in here and let's go for like the 80 to 81 market. Uh, we'll take away Ohio state and let's just see what's on the market. And let's just try to pick out a car to pick out a team, um, that might sell for something. Um, so we can go SMU. Let's see if there's another one up on the market for us to flip that. Uh, SMU. Okay, this one wouldn't be too crazy, but this is a smaller budget, 13K, um, and you might even be able to get that 11K bid. You would have to wait an hour, but 13 k you sell it for 16, um, right at 16,000, and you take 1,600 off of that price, you're making a thousand coins right you get 14k or uh i guess fourteen thousand four hundred. so yeah you'd be making a thousand coins if you wanted to do that what does he normally sell for thirteen thousand yeah that you could do that um you could buy for 13k here 13.4 list them up for 16k take that 16 uh, or 10 percent off which is 1600 and you could get a thousand profit again the bigger the budget the more profit you're going to make, right? If you only have 10, 15,000, 20,000, up to 50,000 coins, these are the type of flips you're going to have. Um, if you have a bigger budget like myself, you could go into the 84 to 85 market um, and do bigger flips because some of these cards, like I said, go for even in the, um, the 84s, like lowest is 50K, but as you can see, if you go to free safety and safety, these cards go for a lot. Now, there is a free safety, yeah, a free safety that is coming out tomorrow, so people are listing. I mean, look at this. This guy, Larson, um, is a lot of listed. It's because there's a free safety, free safety, like I said, coming out tomorrow, um, Caleb Downs. Um, but beforehand, right, uh, 122K. Let's see. Nothing too crazy going on with here uh this could put no wrong card yeah i don't know you would have to look around the market obviously just flipping cards um and that one works for like i said even if you have like five thousand coins you could come and uh look at 70 to 70 ones or 70 to 70 uh fours right um Maybe you find a card for 500 and you flip it for a thousand, right? That's 500 K or 500 coins profit. Maybe you find one for 700 coins and sell it for 2K, right? That's a thousand coin profit. So, um, flipping cards in the market is not um, capped or having to have a minimum um, amount of coins to do it, right? If you even have a couple K, I'm telling you, you can find a couple of these cards for 500 coins and be able to flip them for a thousand and all that fun stuff. So, uh, that is tip number four on how to make coins right now. All right, and tip number three on making coins right now um, are packs. Now, these aren't guaranteed. These are packs, all right? You got to get lucky, all right? Um, I've been fairly lucky, fairly, you know, maybe just because I pull so many packs already each day that I'm bound to just get good stuff. Um, but even if you just come in here and rip a couple of these a day, you uh 
uh, could be profitable. So the first two pack or the two packs I'm talking about are first this recruit pack, 1500 coins, 65 plus overall player. You're guaranteed that um, 45% to get a 70 plus, which is like a gold 16% of 74 plus and 8.7% at a 76 plus, right? So all you do 1500 coins, low risk, and it's a low risk, high reward type thing, right? I've pulled uh, 82s. I did a whole pack opening actually of 500 of these, and I'll link these, uh, link this in the video as I'm talking about it right now, and at the end of the video if you want to go watch that. I opened up 500 of these recruit packs, 750,000 coins. But see, 1500 coins, um, and let's just see how much the 72 is going for. Probably not too much. Yeah, 200 coins to 300 coins, not the greatest. Okay, um, but again. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. I would go with this bundle, uh, 15K, and you get nine recruit packs plus one of them the, being uh, 69 plus overall. So I'm actually going to rip this bundle real quick just to show you on here, and hopefully we get lucky. Again, it is not guaranteed. It is packs, okay? They are not guaranteed profit. But you want to come in here, and you, know, you want to aim for hopefully getting high golds or elites or higher, right? You want to see the big animation. You want to see blue here. Um, probably the 73 isn't probably going to go for too much. A couple hundred coins, right? Um, but it is a low risk, right? I, like I, like I said, I, like I said, almost all my videos, I come in here into the store and open about two or three of these bundles a day just to see, right? Um, with my luck, I'm hitting an elite in every 40 to 50 ish pack. So every uh, four to five bundles, I'm hitting an elite. And, um, yeah, but that's just the risk I'm willing to take. Again, nothing too crazy. This one's a pretty low risk one. Um, you know, I guess you could lose your 15K, um, but 15K really isn't that hard to come by right now. Um, but then again, you're also can get lucky and pull, you know, a limited time play a card out of these. You could pull uh, a high 84, 85 overall card. This bundle, we didn't do very well. Um, unless, I could, this pack could change here, the 69 overall fantasy pack, um, right, you be pulling elite, and we're sitting pretty good, doesn't, doesn't look like it, yeah, so this bundle was a dud, like I said, could be profitable, you know, you hit an elite in your, in that bundle, you're guaranteed to make your money back, at least, um, uh, but the other one to look out for over here is this team pack, 300, 3,500 coins, and this one's a really, really good one, all right? This one's another low-risk one, okay? You get three cards. You get an, um, a stadium, you get a uniform, and you get a playbook, all right? The cool thing about this, look at this. It's 3,500 coins to open. If you were just to quick sell them all, you get 2,500 coins, all right? So the at the worst, at the worst, you're going to lose 1,000 coins. That's it. That is it. But go through these and see how much they sell for. This one, right now, it averages 1,700. We, a couple of them sold for 2K and uh, 1,800 five to 10 minutes ago. All right, so I'm gonna throw mine up for uh, 1,700, all right? After tax, you lose about 100. I'm making 1,500 there on that card alone instead of the 1,000 at quick sells for, so I make an extra 500 there. This one um, looks like it sold for around 2k mid 1000s there's a one up for 100 uh, 1300 i'll just do that as well again after tax you're making about uh 1200 so that 1200 there plus that 1500 after that other one sells we're already at 2700 and this one quick sells for 500 again we're only losing about a hundred uh two or three hundred coins but let's just see how much the texas longhorns uniform goes for it's going for about 500 right now but you could probably get about a thousand i'm gonna list up at 900 anyway again that making profit i'm gonna make open up one more of these just to uh show you guys hopefully we pull something a little bit higher um uh like i said in the video uh or in earlier in the video i talked about how i wanted to buy the TCU uniforms and the home uniforms was 22k. So this one's going for about 1400. We'll list that there. Um, 22k. I know uh, the Oregon Ducks, you know, is anywhere from 10, 15, 20k as well. Here we go. This one has sold for 7,525 minutes ago. 
Story went 26 minutes ago. A minute before that, 10K. A minute before that, 6K. Right? And then 30K. We have one up for 3K. I'm going to list this one up. I'm going to try to go for it. I'm going to go for 5,500 um, with a 4,400 uh, bid. And if that doesn't sell, I'm going to list it for 3K. And boom, you basically made your profit back. Uh, or your this pack back. So the other two cards I'm going to list, this Owl's Uniform and the other Stadium that I just listed, is purely profit. Um, this one's been going for about 1400 I know there's one up. It says right there for eight 850 But I'm going to put this up for 1200 And that seems like, in that pack, we're going to make about 1000 to 2000 coins. Again, very low risk. Could be high reward. Um, high as in 15 20k profit. Because, like I said, those some of the uniforms and playbooks go for that much. Um, this one probably is a, a dud pack. Okay, about 1500 We'll list for 16 Nothing on the market for the Old Dominion uh, Stadium. M Navy Midshipman. Let's see how much these uniforms go for. There's one up for 900 It sells for about seven and a hundred. I'll throw it up for eight. There's that. So 1500 plus 800 That's 22, uh, $2,200. And this one's about... 1400 so again we kind of just made our coins back on that pack so again the lowest you're going to make is 2500 back you're going to lose only lose 1000 coins the highest again you could pull arizona playbook that's about 10 to 15k the offensive one in the same pack as pulling um the tcu home uniforms that's 22,000. that's 30k for those two cards right there and then i'm not really too sure what stadium goes for a lot but there could be a stadium that's three or four k and you can make up to almost 40 50 000, uh coins from this pack depending on uh the playbook and uniforms that you pull so that is tip number three on how to make coins right now in the cut all right and tip number two we are staying in the store because honestly and this is majority of the players don't do this um it's been actual money real life money uh the cut points up there right you put actual currency or actual money your hard-earned money in the game right you can get all these points to use these for packs um honestly i would go for this uh sophomore bundle it's really really nice i've opened up couple of these before the junior bundle is pretty nice but you can come through any bundle there's legend bundles ultimate alumni bundles um the platinum packs um starter bundles if you want to do that you could buy the recruit packs if you really wanted to um with points but yeah you know when it, when it comes down to games like this you are going to be looking at money we're going to be looking at time. That's with anything in life. And um, on my main account, I kind of have time and money. I've thrown some money into it, but i played a lot of hours. I think I'm over like 110 hours on this game already since it came out, um, which honestly is probably mid-pack or uh, low compared to some of the people that have played uh, are playing this game. Um, but yeah, i put in a lot of time playing games and uh, grinding the market, but I've also put in money um and that's why i have an 84 overall team a lot of it's b and d but i do have a couple cards that are sellable and i have just about five million coins so if you do want to just get your uh coins up pretty quickly of course the option there's always an option to throw money into the game um but again not guaranteed uh to really get that much for your money if you do that so yeah that is tip number two all right and tip number one right the best thing you could do Okay, the best way to make coins is just play the game. As you can see in the top left corner, we are on the play tab. Play your challenges, all right? I still need to go through the offensive and defensive schemes, but you can get playbooks that sell for, like I said, four, five, ten thousand coins, right? You play this offense and defense of, uh, of trials schemes, you get playbook packs, go look on the market. Um, before you choose and uh, find the ones that are most expensive, pick those and sell them. I guarantee you, you play through the offensive and defensive pack, I guarantee you at least 50k you're making just from these solo challenges, and they're very easy, right? Go through this ultimate uh, 101 and 201, right? You get cards, you get coins for doing these. Um, you get a, a sellable 79 overall, and you might be thinking, Okay, 79 overall, What, whatever. Another one here, 77 and 79 overall. There's 79 overalls that are going for 7, 9, 
13, 15K, right? You pull a 79 overall fullback, that thing's going for like 25K, and it's a 79 overall gold card. And I'm telling you, they're selling, okay? So again, you could get lucky with your 79 overall and get a 10, 12, 15K card, okay? And you get two of those for free right there, plus the other 77s and 74s that go for a couple K. Again, ultimate alumni, go through here. Coins and coins and tokens and coins. Go do it, right? Um, in case you missed it, get you more coins, conference series, coins and cards, legends, more coins, more cards, right? Go through your solo challenges. Those are really easy. Solo seasons, dude, if you're afraid to play online, do your solo seasons. Even if you're on the freshman playoffs here, um, here's the rewards for the playoffs. Three wins in playoffs, which you shouldn't lose on veteran or on, um, on freshman, right? Even if you've never played a football game before, you will not lose. I'm telling you right? Just winning three games in the playoffs, winning the championship, you get 4,500 coins. Plus, I already won six, or uh, sorry, five in the regular season, which gave me 5,500 coins. So right there is 10k coins for playing eight games, all right? Plus, on top of it, I'm pretty sure you get a per game is 750. So those eight games times that by 750, whatever uh, that is, that's what, another six-ish, 7,000. So you're looking at about 17, 15K for just playing a full season of this, and then you can knock it out within an hour. Plus, I'm pretty sure if you do win the championship, the national championship, you do get a pack. Um, if you do come over to... Oh, back down accident. If you do come over and do the All-American... Uh, you do get a little bit overall, 5,500 coins, like I said, for five five wins. Um, once you get in the playoffs, it'll show you the playoff rewards, but you get a little bit more coins than that, and then, you, like I said, you do get a pack when you win the national championship, which then, again, you can open up and pull players to sell, right? Literally, you can sit there for, and I would argue, 45 minutes to an hour um, to play a full solo seasons. All you got to do is literally run the ball, chew clock, score one time, you can stop them, it's really easy on defense, then you just chew clock, run it out, win 7 nothing, win 3 nothing, get out of there, play the whole season in 45 minutes to an hour, you're making 15 plus K, right? 15K from just playing the games, plus, uh, plus more, right? With that pack, you can pull a limited. You could pull a, uh, you know, a nine Judkins, you can pull Luther, uh, the 90 overall season one player, and you can sell that for 800,000 coins, 900,000 coins, right? You can make that in one hour, right? But you're guaranteed to make 15 K an hour, which is really, really nice. Another one head to head player, head to head. You get, um, I'm in all the conference and after five wins, 7,500 coins, a divisional game promotion, Every game, though, on top of that, I'm also getting 850 coins when you win. Even when you lose, you're still getting coins. Champs, I this is a horrible run right now. You, oh, you can you can't see it above my uh, above my head there. I'm five and four. This is a horrible run for me. This is my fourth champs run. Um, I've done the two the first two weeks, and this is actually my second run. Um, this week I already went 13 and seven, and it's letting me play again. But I'm starting off. I'm struggling this one. But fifth, uh, f- uh, five and four. Even if you have a horrible team, look at this. Here's the rewards. Even if you have a horrible team, maybe you have a 77 overall. Maybe you have an 80 and you think that's horrible. It's not at this point in the game. Trust me, 80s, I've lost 80s and I have a pretty good team in that 84 overall. Look at this. You win one game, you still get 3,000 in Hail Mary pack. You win two, right? You come in here, you have 20 games to win two. I believe in you. I think you can. That's 10K plus one Hail Mary pack. Again, two games to win 10k and then you get a pack on top of it that uh could again have a limited in it it could have elite cards that you can again sell for 20 30 50k 200k plus some of these cards go for right for winning two games out of 20 all right you can even right go to four 17,000 coins and you're like man I just don't have enough time to play all 20 games but I got to four wins just go into the games and quit give a, give the away the games and you'll get your rewards instantly you can go four and 16 get 17,500 uh, coins and get that field goal pack again 
it's just really, really nice, and it's free for the champs, all right? I recommend champs a bunch. Even if you're kind of scared to go online or you don't think you have the best team, you know, maybe, again, you're sitting at 80 overall. I'm telling you, I have lost to 80 overalls. I believe one of these losses that I have in this run right now, I lost to an 80 overall, right? You can do it. Um, even if you win a couple games, it's still worth it. All right, do your champs. That's my biggest uh, biggest one. The Gauntlet, which does release on Friday through Monday only, um, that does cost 50K. I wouldn't recommend that if you're not feeling confident, but if you do have a good overall team like myself and you do feel confident, do the Gauntlet because that gives you really, really nice rewards, uh, packs, coins, and all that stuff. Even if you just win one game, I still think you get like 20-ish K or something like that for winning one game out of 10. Like, that's pretty nice. But my biggest thing is champs. Um, that's the, the first thing you got to grind, um, that I would grind the regular season is a, a really good one. And then the solo seasons, and then on top of it, playing your solo challenges, that is the best, the best tip to making coins right now is just play. I've gotten comments on my videos. Um, where I get my coins from? How do you get your coins? Where'd you buy your coins? I haven't bought my coins right? I've put money into the game. I haven't bought my coins on third party sites or anything. I just play the game a lot. So yeah, these are the top five tips to make coins right now in cut 25. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know how you're enjoying cut so far. What level are you? What overall is your team? How many coins you got? Um, and yeah, let me know if you're enjoying the, the game or not. Yeah. So I am out. Peace.